Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are going to make some necklaces using acrylic skins and resin. I don't have the resin mixed up yet. It is sitting in a hot water bath right now. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started with the um, actual hole punches. The pendants I use, I will link the link in the description if I can find the one where I bought these from. I literally bought these like 10 years ago. Um, so if the place is still in business and I can find the right link, it'll be in the description. Otherwise, they're just um, one inch round pendants. It's already got the bail attached to the pendant. Some don't come with that and you can actually buy bales um, that you can just like glue on to the back of whatever to create a necklace. Uh, I've got all different colors here. Silver, gunpowder, metal, something like that. Um, bronze, uh, copper. I don't have any gold, I guess. Or maybe this is gold. No. Maybe no gold. Um, but yeah, so let's start with these uh, hole punches. I'm going to do this first one real quick and then I'll bring you in for a close up. But I just take this one inch hole punch. I'm sure this hole punch has a name. I don't have the name of it. It's not listed on here anywhere. I just have that it was made in Taiwan. Um, but this is my favorite hole punch and I'll show you why. So... When you do the hole punch, this probably maybe at one point had some sort of, oh, let's try to get me in frame here and that might be better for you guys, huh? At one point there may have been a like plastic uh, over this to where when you punched it, it doesn't just go flying. I always take those off because I don't need them. And so what I do is I just slide it in here. I pick the design that I want that I think is the most prettiest. You can always check on both sides as well. Also, I check on both sides once it's already cut before I put it into play. And sorry, I'm not really doing a very good job of this. One more second. Let's try this way. All right, there we go. So I think, sorry, I have to look in real life, not just through the camera. I think I'm only going to get one out of this piece here. So I want to make sure I get the perfect one. Still working on it. This is one of my favorite pieces. That's why I am taking so much time on it. Sorry for the delay. Alright, I think... Oops, almost dropped it. Alright, I think I liked this design right here the best. And so I'm going to go ahead and punch it. And you can see how far up that punch comes from the from where it cuts. That is important to me because if it doesn't come up very far or if there's like an area, like let's say it only came up this high, you can see all of this right here wouldn't be cut or even let's say a little bit higher because this actually isn't level. It kind of like waves around. So you might get an area where it doesn't cut fully and it's still okay. You can still get it out. You can still trim it up. Nothing's really going to harm it. It's just an extra step, extra process, time consuming. Can mess up your design if you, um, if it gets caught. Like let's say it was caught and you had to like kind of like wiggle it. You could end up tearing it. Um, so yeah, that's why I make it a point to, to talk about this one. And I'm sorry I don't have the link. If I ever find it again somewhere, I will uh, make sure I remember it so I can tell you. But here's what it looks like if you find it at the store, see it at the store. I, I'm sorry, I don't, I can't tell you more about it. Um, or if anyone's watching this video has one and knows where it came from and whatnot, please leave it in the comments so that I know and then others know. Because I've gone through several hole punches. I've done things where I've needed one inch hole punches in the past, like prior to the YouTube channel. And this is definitely the best one that I've ever used. Here's another gorgeous one. I think it's probably got some color shift. If not, it's definitely got some metallics in it. And so I just pick the area I want and cut it. And then, like I said, before I use the piece, I'll double check each side and see which one I really, really like before making a final decision. I might be able to get one more out of this. Let me grab some scissors. So sometimes it is difficult to get like your hole punch through. So if you just cut around to where you can get it in. And punch. 
So I will go ahead and do the rest of these and then I'll mix up some resin and we'll be back. All right, so I got them all cut out yet. I haven't mixed the resin up because there is a work time with the resin and I want to have as much work time as possible. So I want to get this prepped as well as fast or as much as possible before mixing up the resin. So I didn't, I cut more than I have. I have a few left in here, but um, I didn't have enough to do all of the circles I cut. So I went ahead and picked out a few. I did five of everything, except there was only four of these. And so I did an extra silver. And then I decided which colors or which patterns I wanted in each of them. So for this next step, all you literally do is just smush it in there. Now you can do other stuff on top of here before you add your resin. You don't have to just do the skin. In this video, this is all I'm doing. It's, and that's all there is to it. Just smush it in there and then we'll add resin. You can glue it in there, but since I'm adding resin, I don't think it's really going to make that much difference because the resin will seal it fully. So that is what I will do next. I will go ahead and speed you up through this process because this will be super fun to watch. All right, we are back. I've got the skins and all of the pendants. Um, one of the skins actually cracked a little bit. It was a pretty thin skin, so I just set that to the side. So we'll just do these 19 here. Um, I got the resin mixed up. This is Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat Resin. And I think I'm going to try this pipette and see if this does any good. I don't know if it will or not, so this will be a pure experiment real fast. And if it doesn't work, then we'll figure something else out. I just thought it would be like super handy to be able to... Um, transport such a tiny amount because clearly it would be really hard to pour <laughs> out of this cup into these little bitty tiny so that's not gonna work let's try a syringe which I've used in the past but and it works it's just it can be temperamental so we'll see and then we will torch it to torch out the air bubbles um I have two different size torches. So I've got the smaller one. None of them are like those big, massive ones with the tanks. These are all little handheld ones. Um, but I've got the smaller of the two um, out for this project. And these are, I just got on Amazon. There's like four in a pack for like 20 bucks or something. They look like this. They do not come covered in paint as mine currently are. I'm filling it up. I kind of want it beveled a little bit. I'll see if that actually stays like that. Along with uh, my table is slightly unlevel. So I put a little bit in, but then I actually just use the syringe to kind of press it in the direction that I want it to go. And it doesn't really take a lot of effort to do that. It kind of wants to low anyways but I can already tell you I do have you zoomed in quite a lot so you can see kind of the details here and there's actually a stir stick under there so that's what's causing some of these problems I'm sure my table is not level though like I've never worked to level it or anything so first ones I'm gonna go ahead and take the torch to them I don't like that my table's not level oh it's also that this pendant is like making it lift as well you don't want to torch too much because you can burn your resin which I have done I 
There's actually like something shimmery in this one. The resin brought it out. I will, when I do it the close up, I'll try to show it to you, but there's actually like glitter or something in that one. Okay, so I think for the next set, I might want to actually like intentionally do something. That way they're in theory level. <laughs> All right, here we are for a close-up. So you can see that glitter sparkle, like kind of in that red or pink. It's really pretty. And then the resin just helps all of these colors really pop. It's just beautiful. So many, uh, a lot of these have uh, metallics in them. So that's why they look so glittery. This one's actually one of my favorites. I think this looks really good. Some more shimmeriness in these with the metallics. Sorry, looking at a couple things here. So yeah. Um, what I will do is, once these cure, I will show them to you in this video. So stay tuned. Um, this will take about a day to cure, um, but we'll be right back to show you what they look like after they're cured. All right, we are back. It has been several days because, honestly, I was a little bit afraid. Because, as you can see, they're stuck. As you can see... They popped right off. <laughs> so I didn't know that was going to happen. However, I should have because I said earlier in the video I wanted a dome shape. And that's not really possible because it's self leveling. So it's not going to do that. I should have known that. It should have clicked in my brain. It did not at the time of filming. Um, until I came back a couple hours later just to see how things were curing along and then I saw the mess and I was like, oh geez, that's not cool. And the ones that weren't, they just got like a ton of resin on the back. So I will probably like sand that off. Um, I tried, I actually kind of ruined a couple because I was trying to like peel it off. I had tweezers and a whole craziness. Actually, I don't even know which ones I got damaged. This one's got a little bitty nick in the resin right there. It might just, well, it might not even be in the resin. It could just be on the edge of the, the metal right there. So I might be able to sand that off. Um, but yeah, it was really like, it's all ruined. And then I decided to put on my big girl pants and come see what I got. And that's when I was like, hey, it's not all ruined. That's cool. So I'll show you. Hopefully these work as well as those did. But literally just peel it right off which this one didn't peel off this part but then it just came right off super easy easy peasy actually this one's not as easy as the last one was <laughs> the last one like peeled off like crazy easy but not the worst thing in the world to happen this one actually doesn't have a great lip on it and it also didn't sound as terrible as it sounds right now but yeah that one's being more stubborn there we go all right see so more of that story you can't do that it's self leveling so yeah but now 
let me show you what these will look like once I have them on like chains and necklaces. Um, they're in the studio. I brought you in here just because I didn't want to freeze out there since I didn't really need to. There was a couple bubbles like in this one. Let's see if I can get it to zoom. Yeah, you can see those little bitty tiny bubbles there. Mildly disappointed, but I don't think it like ruins the piece by any means. And then this one somehow got like a speck of like dust. It's not even dust. It's like a piece of paper or something. Like a piece of parchment or something landed in there. Probably when I was fighting with all the sticky resin. Um, one of these looked like the, the skin had kind of like come up a little bit. And it actually kind of looked really stinking cool. Can't even find it now. And I doubt I'll be able to show that depth. I think it's that one but you really can't tell it looks cool though either way so let me go get the necklace C parts and we'll be right back all right so here are two options I've got a silver ball chain for this one and then this organza string is another option another way to go with it I think that actually really compliments because it's such a deep dark purple so, yeah. a couple different options they also have um like braided leather um i have this it just it already has i'd have to like undo this thing in my bob in order to get it okay focus on what i want you to focus on there you go in order to get it through because both of these ends are too big to go through the bale so can't don't fit but it's not the end of the world it's doable i just wasn't gonna do it here <laughs> this isn't a jewelry making um video as far as that's concerned but that is something you can do or you can really create any you can add attachments to in type of string or anything there so just a couple options there but this is kind of start to finish making a resin necklace all right we are back it has been several days because honestly I was a little bit afraid because as you can see they're stuck as you can see they popped right off <laughs> so I didn't know that was going to happen however I should have because I said earlier in the video I wanted a dome shape and that's not really possible because it's self-leveling. So it's not going to do that. I should have known that. It should have clicked in my brain. It did not at the time of filming. Um, until I came back a couple hours later just to see how things were curing along. And then I saw the mess and I was like, oh geez. That's not cool. And the ones that weren't, they just got like a ton of resin on the back. So I will probably like sand that off. Um, I tried, I actually kind of ruined a couple because I was trying to like peel it off. I had tweezers and a whole craziness. I actually don't even know which ones I got damaged. This one's got a little bitty nick in the resin right there. Which might just, well, it might not even be in the resin. It could just be on the edge of the, the metal right there. So I might be able to sand that off. Um, but yeah, it was really like, it's all ruined. And then I decided to, put on my big girl pants and come see what I got. And that's when I was like, hey, it's not all run. That's cool. So I'll show you. Hopefully these work as well as those did. But literally just peel it right off. Which this one didn't peel off this part. But then it just came right off. Super easy. Easy peasy. Actually, this one's not as easy as the last one was. <laughs> the last one like peeled off like crazy easy but not the worst thing in the world to happen this one actually doesn't have a great lip on it and it also didn't sound as terrible as it sounds right now but yeah that one's being more stubborn there we go all right see so more of that story you can't do that it's self leveling so yeah but now, 
let me show you what these will look like once I have them on like chains and necklaces. Um, they're in the studio. I brought you in here just because I didn't want to freeze out there since I didn't really need to. There was a couple bubbles like in this one. Let's see if I can get it to zoom. Yeah, you can see those little bitty tiny bubbles there. Mildly disappointed, but I don't think it like ruins the piece by any means. And then this one somehow got like a speck of like dust. It's not even dust. It's like a piece of paper or something. Like a piece of parchment or something landed in there. Probably when I was fighting with all the sticky resin. Um, one of these looked like the, the skin had kind of like come up a little bit. And it actually kind of looked really stinking cool. Can't even find it now. And I doubt I'll be able to show that depth. I think it's that one but you really can't tell it looks cool though either way so let me go get the necklace C parts and we'll be right back all right so here are two options I've got a silver ball chain for this one and then this organza string is another option another way to go with it I think that actually really complements because it's such a deep dark purple so, yeah. couple different options they also have um, like braided leather um, I have this it just it already has I'd have to like undo this thing in my bob in order to get it okay focus on what I want you to focus on there you go in order to get it through because both of these ends are too big to go through the bale so can't don't fit but it's not the end of the world it's doable I just wasn't gonna do it here <laughs> this isn't a jewelry making um, video as far as that's concerned but that is something you can do or you can really create any you can add attachments to any type of string or anything there so just a couple options there but this is kind of start to finish making a resin necklace. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I do want to thank you for watching. Actually, before we do that, let's do a close up on all of these because I don't know if you actually got to see them all. And since they're all done, I think that you should be able to see them. So I'll do that real fast. All right, so this is the one with the little speck in it, but all of these others look super cool. Even this one, it was so dark I went, when I was editing the video before. You really couldn't even see the colors in here. And look at how pretty that is. It's even got some glitter sparkle in there. There's no glitter in the resin. This is all from whatever's on the actual skin itself. Yeah. Really gorgeous pieces. And not destroyed from my resin blender by overfilling my pieces here that is so clear it doesn't even look like there's resin in this piece but there is i guess there is actually a piece in there but just sitting there you couldn't even tell because there's like no glare off of the resin like this piece you can see the glare right here but there's no glare <laughs> so you can't really tell but yeah let me know what you think in the comments below. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy. Let's do a close up on all of these because I don't know if you actually got to see them all. And since they're all done, I think that you should be able to see them. So I'll do that real fast. All right, so this is the one with the little speck in it, but all of these others look super cool. Even this one, it was so dark I went, when I was editing the video before. You really couldn't even see the colors in here. And look at how pretty that is. It's even got some glitter sparkle in there. There's no glitter in the resin. This is all from whatever's on the actual skin itself. Yeah. Really gorgeous pieces. And not destroyed from my resin blender by overfilling my pieces here that is so clear it doesn't even look like there's resin in this piece but there is i guess there is actually a piece in there but just sitting there you couldn't even tell 
because there's like no glare off of the resin like this piece you can see the glare right here but there's no glare <laughs> so you can't really tell but yeah let me know what you think in the comments below i do want to thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share and do what makes you happy